Hi again, we've been talking about features that are coming to Halo 11, and I wanted to take a moment to talk about a few undocumented features that are nonetheless uh, coming in Halo 11. And uh, I'm going to start with uh, the client area, uh, which is the area of a screen that is uh, not used by, uh, otherwise used by controls and things like the taskbar and the, the start screen, that sort of thing. Um, previously, Haller would use the full screen, uh, and now we've adjusted that, so Haller will always run in the client area of the desktop era. This uh, ensures that the taskbar is never unduly covered and that uh, things in the operating system continue to run smoothly. Um, if you adjust the screen and move the taskbar to the side, for example, Howler will adjust accordingly uh, and use that part of the client area. Um, that is one small change that is coming to Howler. Uh, just be aware of it. I think this makes it a more smooth and uh, better experience overall. Uh, it makes it easier to use the uh, normal operation of the desktop environment. Uh, let's see. There's also the um, the scroll bars uh, have been uh, changed. Previously, uh, the scroll bars would uh, appear on the the left and uh, on the right and uh, bottom, uh, which would allow you to zoom around in the image or scroll around in an image. Uh, this has been changed so that when you zoom out, uh, the scroll bars disappear. This gives you more screen space to work with and keeps the interface more clean looking. Uh, another small change, uh, which is also consistent with the way Windows works. So uh, that is one other small change that is uh, undocumented, but nonetheless coming to Halo 11. Uh, there is also the ability to um, delete media directly from the, the, the media browser. This is just a matter of a right click, and then you can select delete media. Also, here we can now uh, save media uh, that could previously uh, only be saved through the, the particle panel, um, namely particles, bristles, orbicles, and foliage. Um, normally would be saved from here, but uh, if you're accustomed to working from the, the, the media panel, the media browser, you can save directly from here. So let's say I have uh, particle save settings, and I want to save that. Let me just draw something like this, and I will go to uh, make sure, first of all, that I'm in the orbicles category. I'll do save media. Uh, this will let me see a preview. Uh, this will become the, the rendered icon. Uh, this is because this can only, um, this can take really any shape. There's not a predefined shape this can be drawn into, so you want to actually manually select a... Uh, portion of this that you want to be the preview icon. This is slightly different than the uh, the way the rest of the program works, so be aware that that is uh, a new f feature in uh, version 8, and uh, you have a nice little preview uh, box that shows you where you are in the image, and uh, that is basically all there is to that, and it saves out your media, and you'll be able to access that from the media browser as usual. Um, another small change that is not documented is the addition of several new uh, styles in uh, orbicals, um, namely multiply and dynamic multiply. Um, not a huge change, but it sort of rounds out the the uh, the painting modes that are available in orbicals. All right, so that is just a few changes. There's one more I will mention, although this is really more of a this is Philip's baby, so I'll let him talk about that more in a future video. But under brush settings and effects, there is a new mode called paint on RGB and alpha, which I will let him talk about in a future video. So uh, that's about it for now. Uh, thanks for watching and talk to you later.